Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. This video, we're going to look at the brand new range from Grow Light Science. It is their Pro Grow range, and these are commercial fixtures. Uh, they're good friends of the channel. I've been reviewing their lights for a number of years now, and they have been at the forefront of delivering bang for book, you know, the best PPF output per dollar spend on the market for quite some time now. And these lights are no exception. Really, really good value for money and uh, delivering everything that you would want to, plus a few little uh, innovations too. These lights are for the commercial market only. They are 200 volts. They won't work in a domestic um, socket in the US. They are only designed and specified for commercial applications. There are two formats available and three different lights. Two of them are a high bay format. That means the, uh, they are designed to be located high above the canopy and um, you know, it could be four foot, maybe 10 foot above the canopy. And they are high density. So the LED bars are close together. So this one, the 2100, um, you can see the distance here. There's also a close proximity version uh, of this same light but the spacing between the LED bars is much wider and that is designed to be located down close, um, a low hanging height over the canopy. They each have this um, same LED bar um, format um, or profile, which is a slim uh, line of LEDs uh, encapsulated by a, a polycarbonate casing or cover uh, allowing them, uh, protecting them and allowing them to be cleaned and with good cooling off the back of the uh, aluminium LED bars. You have two options with the driver. In this case, the driver is located in the frame of the light. You can have it also located remotely. Uh, in this case, where it's in the frame, they're really easy to, um, to hang, very lightweight, um, just a simple power connection, your hangers, and um, then you have a connection for dimming. The dimming ports or J11 are compatible with uh, all external grow light controllers. So overall, very slim line with a really low profile designed to give you maximum headroom uh, and to minimize um, the cost and the complexity of uh, hanging them and setting them up. The LEDs are really tightly packed in these high bay fixtures, giving a really high density of output. The LEDs are uh, more densely packed towards the end of the fixture to uh, give the most even light distribution possible with the polycarbonate lenses on top, uh, as I said, protecting the LEDs from dirt and dust and allowing them to be wiped down. The spectrum output is a full spectrum output. I tested it with the Ascensitech spectra radiometer and the overall color temperature is about 3400K, a sort of a neutral white. So plenty of blue for short vegetative growth and um, lots of red for high photosynthetic efficiency. So looking at the full range and starting off, there is the P2100 uh, close proximity fixture. Grow Light Science have shared the lighting analysis report for this uh, P2100 or PG2100 close proximity light. Um, 24 of the units in a 40 foot by 20 foot area. Uh, you can see the array of um, four rows of units there hung at two foot um, over the plant canopy. And they deliver an average of 1367 micromoles uh, across that target area with a max of 1520, a minimum of 954, but a really good spread of light over this, um, this planned area. Next fixture to look at is the P2100 um, high bay fixture, which is this one here. And Growlight Science have shared with me a report they've done. It's AGI 32 uh, lighting analysis, and it's just showing a typical layout uh, with this um, fixture. We got 50 of these fixtures in a 40 by 20 foot um, grow room. And you can see here the, um, the sort of array of lights um, just in a render view. Um, 
just showing them in plan and uh, elevation. And the, in this arrangement, you get an average PPFD of 1,357, um, uh, very close to 1,400 micromoles over that grow area, which is uh, at, a, at a really even spread. I think if you do your calculations in, in bang for book, um, this is really, really good value in terms of delivery of um, PPF per watt, but also PPF per dollar. Now, this arrangement can be um, fulfilled with the drivers on board in the fixture, as I said, and each of them powered individually. They're also compatible with remote power systems, and these have been specified with the Artisan LCM 4000, um, which will reduce the power required to uh, deliver the voltage to your LED grow lights, but also will remove the heat from the grow room and reduce your AC costs as well. The last fixture to look at is another high bay fixture. It's the 4200 uh, ProGrow high bay fixture. This is an absolute beast uh, in terms of its output. Um, it is consuming 1600 watts. Um, and as I said, delivering 4,200 uh, micromoles in terms of PPF, it is a beast. Um, you know, if you look at the other lights in this market, this um, range in terms of size and power, such as maybe the FOSI, and compare uh, in terms of value, uh, the cost for this light, uh, this light uh, beats it hands down in terms of value. It's, uh, it's incredible, really. As I said, all of these fixtures are 200 volt um, for maximum efficiency. They are all DLC qualified and uh, utility re rebate eligible. They're ETL listed and UL8800 compliant. And Grow Light Science, a US company with full US tech support on the ground for you. With this new range, I think Grow Light Science are really pushing the boundaries in terms of what is possible in terms of value for money. Uh, fully compliant with everything you would need, all the basic things that you want in your commercial grow light done well. So you got high bay options, low bay options, uh, large wattage, medium wattage, uh, high density fixtures, um, easy to maintain with options on in terms of power supply for onboard or uh, remote power supply. And uh, best of all, you know, this, this value for money um, check out the links below um, and get in contact with Grow Light Science to get your inquiry now. Hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to hear what you, the commercial grower, thinks of these fixtures uh, and what you think is you know, positive or negative about them. Uh, please let us know in the comments. I'd be fascinated to know what you guys think. Take care.